and I got a question um, for you, Scoop. Is Luca the best player left in the playoffs? No. Who's the best player? Um, I hate ranking. I think there's, I think there's a, there's a, because you know how to get on Twitter. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a list of great, good players like that are household names that are playing or on the rise. I mean, you look at Jimmy Butler. I think he's one of the best mid-range shooters in the league. Mm-hmm. Uh, outside uh, Demar Derozan, I think the mid-range game is such a lost art in the NBA. Um, I, I rather I, sometimes. Um, sometimes it's it's better to, to take a quick nap than it is to sleep seven eight hours. Sometimes um, you get that 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 filling snack and you don't need the four course meal. Um, and if if you partake, sometimes it's better to get that quick hit uh, rather than you know use with your friends. And so comparatively, I think the two pointer if it's if it's within range gets you gets you what you need. Um, I also think that you look at uh, Jason Tatum. I think I think Jason Tatum's been been in been on. Uh, I think you know you, you go back to what he did in his rookie season and going toe to toe with LeBron and the Cavs without Kyrie as a member of the Celtics in the 2018 uh, NBA Eastern Conference Finals. They didn't win it, but that gave him uh, a ton of experience. Uh, he did throw it on LeBron, and you know how hard it is for me to say that. He did dunk on LeBron in that series. He did. He did. Um, you know, and then you, you look at the Golden State Warriors who have uh, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. And and and, and, I, and I think I think Jordan Poole definitely um is on the rise. And um so no, nah, I don't I don't particularly care for the 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 the, the grades and the, I just I think that's that's overly done, but I, but I, but I, I know that we as consumers and also as media members have been programmed in a lot of respects to just talk about that great or other stuff. I, I enjoy uh, the moment, the process, and um, yeah, I, I, I think, I think, I think, I mean, even I talked about Jimmy. I think Bam Adebayo is a star. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think you you got some guys. I just think they're not named LeBron. They're not named Kawhi. They're not named KD. They're not named Kyrie Irving. And I think there's there's a lot of uh, different stars. And I think you got guys that are on the rise. I think as I feel like this is a rewind of 2019 where you didn't have LeBron um, in the finals um, and KD was hurt. And, you know, Kawhi and the Raptors won it and they went against Steph, Clay, and Draymond. I think Draymond is a solid role player. I, I think he's a star. I don't think he's a superstar. I think He's he's a he's a star role player. There is such a thing. No, absolutely, absolutely. Do you do you think that this loss hurts Chris Paul's legacy? Like, is he, you know, depending on, I guess depending on who you had him ranked at before at, at the point guard position, does he drop at all, or is just you know it's just is everything is cemented? There's nothing that could really change. He can only go up. He can he can't go backwards. You know how people we, we say in, in the community, like when you have a star uh, in your community and you say everybody can't come with you, everybody started with you, is not going to end with you. Mm-hmm. Well, comparatively in the NBA, everybody's not going to win a championship. Well, yeah, we know we know that because I would love for AI to have had a championship. So yeah, you, have, you you have AI, you have Charles Barkley, you have um, Karl Malone, you have Patrick Ewing. Reggie. Um, yeah, Reggie Miller. Um, and, and Reggie's still beloved to this day. Um, the jury's still out, you know, whether Chris Paul will win one. Um, I, I think that uh, Jason Kidd got one on the way out in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Um, and then came to New York, played for the Knicks, and parlayed that into a head coaching gig. So I think... Um, I, I'm not one to write somebody's eulogy. I, you know, I actually had to do, I had to write a, I had to write obits um, of, for people like, you know, news networks pre-write obits, before, obituaries before somebody dies. And I was interning at MSNBC and I, I had to like write obituaries for like Bill Clinton, um, George W. Bush, uh, I think George Herbert Walker Bush as well. Um, I'm, I'm out of that business. It's been over 10 years. 
and uh, I can't write an obit on it. You always laughing at me. Yeah, I, you. I'm not ready to write an obit on Chris Paul's career. Um, it, it's still it's still taking shape. I will I will say this. Uh, you know, in comparison to uh, John Stockton, Jason Kidd, who, who both had amazing careers, at the age that Chris Paul is at now, he's he he's playing at a higher level than both of those guys were at around the same age. Diet. So, and he's in. I mean, Chris Paul is still one of the top guys in in the league right now. You know, those guys were a lot lower on the on the food chain at that point in their career. Diet. Diet plays a big part. Um, plant based, specifically. Chris um, Paul is, is 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 vegan. Yeah, he's plant based. Um, also, um, I just think it's a different era. Like you know, I think tech. He's also in Arizona. Have you been to Phoenix before? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 an East Coast. I stay along this side. I'm 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 bi coastal, but I'm I'm East Coastal. I go to it's New York to Miami. <laughs> I get the question. I went to Phoenix um, in February. That's right. That's right. That's right. You did. And uh, it's very, 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 very chill. Um, the medical staff in Phoenix with the Suns um, is known to be legendary and revive certain folks' careers, like. Grant Hill. He mm. Okay. Um, and I mean, bro, I, I don't play for the Suns, um, but I will tell you um, that the legit legal spies in Phoenix are legendary. I went for a 90 minute massage and they started with my feet. Reflexology. Bro, I fell asleep. So they, they, they take good care of you out, out, out there in the desert. I ain't mad at that. No. The- Food, the 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 healthcare, the the, the spas like that. That's that's that culture out there, man. So, God bless them. Oh, listen, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll get a couple more good years out of Chris Paul. Who knows? Maybe he does get the ring um, b- before he goes. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned into Real Fans, Real Talk. Real 